Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. This is my lovely wife, Jen. Today we're continuing watching Jessica Jones. We're doing episode five today. As far as us actually recording these, it's been a couple a couple weeks since we've seen, I think, episode four. So uh, we're going back into it. I've, I've thoroughly been enjoying watching this again. To me, it feels like it's the first time because I said, I think previously that I didn't actually finish this season. And some of it is kind of spotty as far as my memory goes. How are you feeling going into episode five? I am loving this series so much. It's complicated, but it's not complicated. Like it's still easy to follow, but they have like a lot of moving parts in this actual show. It's piquing my interest every single episode, which is a really good sign. So the pace is good. I really don't have any complaints. I think it's a very interesting show so far. Yeah, I agree. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. Episode five of Jessica Jones. Proved Explicit? In Sexual content? Crude, indecent language. Do you think rubber bands just buy themselves, Miss Jones? <laughs> You've been taking six packs of Diet Coke home from the employee kitchen. Oh my God, it's you. I took two cans. Way out of line. What doesn't line up are these missing funds. What is that word? Embezzlement? Felony? What do you want? Fire me and give me six months severance pay and a glowing recommendation, or I email that to HR. Your parents must be so proud. Hey, he's gonna make somebody else clean that up. My resume. <laughs> See, I really want to be your friend. It was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Hold the remote with one hand and box a bald-headed bishop with the other. <laughs> wow. I win. You pick up our bar tab, apologize. And when I win? <laughs> I'll take you out back and meet that bald-headed bishop of yours. Okay. Okay. Disney Plus, everyone. This looks so hard. Yeah, not yet, but I'm sure you could get me there. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, knockout. Sorry. I didn't hear you, ass. Sorry. She did the 30 day shred. Jillian Michaels, change. <laughs> you can fly. Well, jump. It's more like guided falling. Why don't you put on a cape and go run around New York? You know, I would if I could. You're a freaking household name. What more do you want? To save the world, of course. Shots on Trish Walker, everybody! <laughs> Was that a flashback? Yeah. Junkies aren't known for keeping. It's 18 months ago. He was a Power Ranger, also. Go Try and sneak up behind him. Straight. Or just Burst. break his neck or something. There you go. Hard to do this in public. That'll be fine. Four months ago, he also moved in down the hall. After Kilgrave got him hooked. Malcolm's got a knack for spying. It could be his alt career if Kilgrave doesn't OD him first. Excuse me, what did you just tell that man? I told him to go to the kiosk on 16th Park Park. Some British guy said it. I don't have time for this. Oh. Oh my goodness. Check your damn Jeez. messages, Trish. Look how he looked as he talked to sh just like this little peon touching me. <laughs> Who is it? Your neighbor, Ruben. I heard a crash and got worried about you. Everything okay? Brought you some banana bread. Don't tell her, okay? <laughs> Do you like banana bread? Trying to put some his banana in her buns. Hold in. Because of the banana bread. Look at him. Yeah, eat my banana. So weird. Oh yeah, Disney Plus. <sighs> Trish, it's me. <laughs> uh, can you come back later? Later? We'll never know where Malcolm is going to meet Kilgrave. He knows you're on to Malcolm. No. Or Malcolm would be dead. We need to deliver the Sioux Fentanyl with a long range dart gun. Won't work if he's on the move. Long range sniper attack takes seven. Good for them. So I guess you're over him trying to kill you and all. It'll take a pistol. The only thing I'm murdering now, Jessica. Stop it. 
is put uh. alive, Rambo. So this is my call. My call. Whatever abilities you have. He's a war hero. Filled with remorse, he decided to turn it into a booty call. Well, not filled anymore, Jessica. Hey, last night was fun, but that doesn't mean I want your opinion. I know, I don't. <sighs> okay, great. So call me later and fill me in. Let's grab some pants. Good call. I'll see you coming. <laughs> Just like Trish last night. Okay. Stop right, it. Right, right, Hold right, it. Right. That's the last one. That's the last one. Of course it is. Looks like a 70s furniture outlet. <laughs> it has a hermetically sealed room. But you don't know anything when it comes to Kilgrave. You don't know anything. No, I do know one thing. Oh, Christ. Kilgrave knows I have the photos. He knows I'll figure out it's Malcolm. Soundproof, too. Nothing gets in or out. It's a commercial area. It'll be dead. No witnesses. Dart him and grab him up. You dart him, I grab him up. Woman running an unconscious man through Union Square to a van. How fast is your mile? Six minutes. Under four. Listen, once he's in here, he'll be coming. Can you? Huh? You can't hear me, huh? Anything? So why you think because you have these abilities, you're a hero? I've seen heroes. All day. <laughs> Two for one hoagies all day. Two for one, Huggies. Two for one, Huggies. Get out the road, you stupid sandwich. <laughs> you stupid sandwich. The sandwich saved me. Thank you. Can't say anything to hurt either. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Is he alive? Maybe they'll put him into rehab. He's better off in his own bed. I'm taking him home. You want to go to a movie sometime? Shit your shot, man. Your basic pedophile's kidnapping van. Yeah, and uh, it has automatic transmission. You took in an orphan named Jessica when her family died. Did she get her powers in that car accident? What exactly can she do? You won't find that on Wikipedia. It's funny because you actually can, but you know, not in the universe. I don't think she likes me very much. She's protective. She doesn't like any of the guys I date. Do you trust me? With? With? Yes. I mean, I went from morphing time to morphine time. Mm. Yes, I'll accept. Jessica. Did you bring the money? You still haven't told me what it's for. What do you care? I'll have Hogarth put money in your commissary account. Did you bring the cash or not? I'm doing everything I can to get you out of Just here. Just give it to me. Opstar, come on. Our show's coming on. Please. I'm close, Hope. I'll hold my breath. This is the one. Tell Look. me you're kidding. Superheroes wear costumes. It will hide your identity. No. Well, you can't keep saving people dressed as a giant hoagie. Jewel is a great superhero name. Jewel is a stripper's name. A really slutty <laughs> stripper. You're gonna be a hero. We'll see. Going down. Thanks. Hang in there. Yeah, you too. Get the van as close as you can. On it. Yeah, just don't let anyone see you. She's a celebrity. She's used to dealing with weirdos. She's dealt with you all these years, so. Okay, let's go back to <laughs> tense silence. Let's go back to tense silence. If Kilgrave gets me. I'll take you out. I was gonna say dark on me, but sure. <laughs> oh, Captain America. Standing by. Just trying to see what that paper said. I missed it. I feel like they do a lot of impractical jokers things in this park. Mm-hmm. He's exiting the park at 16th Street. Just to kind of give some more space. Yeah. Outdoor cafe, 16th Street and Union Square West. I'll park at the corner, a half block down. Probably look a little right. better. He's looking right at you if he sees the gun. I have a shot. Oh my gosh. Hey, over here! <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't think you attacked my brother! I have to get him to the hospital. 
just attacked my brother. Trish, I'm coming to you. There's two guys right behind me. Let's go, go, go! Oof! Is that his like bodyguards or something? I can't tell actually. They might have just been good Samaritans. Just we need to I be am the evil intent. I remember. See, he's alive. All right. I'm impressed. He's wearing a tracker. Oh god, let's get out of here. Go, go! Oh, looks like they were his people. Oh Jeez. man. <laughs> Daredevil was here to help. So close. It's it smart to have those like people just follow him around all the time. We're never gonna get another chance like that again. I'm just a goddamn radio talk show host. I can't do that thing where I make you feel better. All right, I don't know how. You did good. Where'd they take Kilgrave? We know what he did to you. Oh man, that's not that's. <laughs> Forget it. He's not going to tell us anything. He's not in control. I just guard who I'm told. The client thought that he might get attacked. Kilgrave knew I had the surgical drugs. Malcolm would have told him. Get it? He doesn't know. Names of your firm, names of the boys in your detail. Serve and protect. You're a cop, Simpson. You don't understand. Well, I understand, all right. Understand. Give it to him! Come and step closer and I'll shoot your dick off. Disney Plus. We can still do a deal if you want. No. You let go of me! Damn it, you can't see! Give me your wallet! Is she gonna be responsible for a kill grave meeting him? Yes! Oh. Absolutely tremendous. Let's I thought. See. Isn't she amazing? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You bore me. Leave. Come on. <laughs> Come here. Let me look at you. Come on. Jesus, you're a vision. The pulling sense of fashion, but that can be remedied. <laughs> All the power. Just like me. Did you enjoy beating those thugs? Yes. Yeah. I made a difference. Well. There's a fantastic Sichuan place around the corner. You like Chinese. You like Chinese. Come on. Hmm. I made you a peanut butter sandwich. Go to hell. I'm useless to you. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah, but a while ago, you were going to help people. <laughs> you have a choice now. His controls don't last that long. You know they don't. That's why he got you hooked so you would show up. I'm telling you that I had a choice. <laughs> Kilgrave will find me. The whole time he had me, there was some part of me that fought. And I'm still fighting. But if you give up, I lose. He did this to you to get at me. To make me feel like an infection. You choose. Aww. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh no, not Starlight. Ugh. Not Starlight. Does he have to be in person? Uh, to... I'm guessing so, otherwise she would have stopped listening, I think. Which proves that you want me alive. Tell me why. I could just turn up on your doorstep and make you tell me. I didn't make him do anything he didn't want to do. <laughs> he was an addict waiting to happen. Don't play the hero with me. I won't come near him. If you do his job for him. Keep the pictures coming. 
pictures of herself? Ooh. Let's Very talk. creepy. Let me hear your voice. Good for you, Malcolm. Yeah, I like Malcolm. All right, just finished episode five of Jessica Jones. I thought this was a really great one, especially considering they almost captured Kilgrave. But what did you think? This is kind of what I was talking about earlier, that every episode within itself is very adventurous. There's a lot of action going on, multiple storylines kind of all grooving together, but it's um, done really well. Beginning of this series, all these small characters would pop up and I really didn't pay much attention to them as as in I didn't think that they were going to be a main character or anybody important to the storyline. However, you know, we have the cop who is now like part of their team and a really important part. And then we also have Malcolm was exactly what I, they wanted me to think was just some addict and you know, wasn't gonna be enmeshed in the storyline, but he's this huge part. That's another thing I'm really liking about the series. Each episode is really fascinating. We're finding more and more information out every time about Jessica's history, Kilgrave's history, and kind of how they cross paths. I, re I really like it. I'm, I'm enjoying this series a lot. I think it's really well done, and I'm, I cannot describe how much I love Jessica Jones. Like, I feel like she's a little bit of my soulmate. So I'm really, really liking her character. Great, I, I really enjoyed the flashback sequences in that because mm. we get to see Jessica. She's still kind of got that chip on her shoulder, but she's a little bit more jovial with Trish you know, in her past. And now she's much more like uh, jagged. Them almost catching Kilgrave in that whole tense moment of you know shooting him in the neck yeah. and then him being taken again. All really great. And I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah, and one thing that has been consistent with the character of Kilgrave is that he's really not taking any of this seriously. You know, this is like fun for him. Yeah. Playing with Jessica, um, like basically trading in Malcolm's life potentially for a picture of Jessica each day is like the hundredth level of creep Relatable. that you can get. Creep, creep. <laughs> Um, I'm joking. I so I think that's just brilliant that we have like two ends of the spectrum here because we have Jessica Jones who is so serious about this situation. She's obviously trying to protect people, protect people that she loves, protect herself. And then we have Kilgrave who's on the other end of the spectrum who's just like having fun, doing what is going to make him happy is just such a great thing to play out. Yeah. Well, we'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below, so leave us a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified next time we post the next Jessica Jones video. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.